Okay, uh, that's our uh, that showed you how to create a uh, posting using the WordPress interface. But instead of going ahead and fleshing out how to create more detailed postings, including images or links or other items like that, let's uh, set up your site so that you can actually create a posting using uh, email or by calling a phone number and entering a special key code. So let's go back to the dashboard. And we're going to go over to my blogs. Uh, you may only have one. And here you'll notice this is our blog. And post by email has an enable button. And post by voice has an enable. So let's click on post by e email enable and you will see this special email address. If you send an email to this address and you'll enter a subject in your email and then type something in the body. If you send to this address it will automatically create a posting and we'll test that out shortly. Now we're going to enable this. Here's the phone number to call and here's the special key code to enter when you're asked for it. Now on both of these, if you ever need to change this, you can regenerate both the phone number key code and the email address. So that's as simple as it gets in order to be able to create postings to your WordPress site via email or by phone. Now, let me um, create the first posting by email and I clicked on that. You, once you have it in there, here's the special address and this will be my third posting. So I'm going to have a posting and so now I'm sending it and we can go to all post and we'll see if it's already uh, put it in there yet and it hasn't. I'm going to pause. Okay, I pause for probably uh, 30 to 45 seconds and now we see that under post we have our third posting. We can go view it and we see it's called my third posting which was th the subject we entered in our email and then this posting was created by email was the body of the text and if I go to the main page you see that the third posting is above the second and second above the first so that's how simple it is to create a posting by email and we're going to see some other neat features that you can do with email